Welcome to the B. Washington Interactive Theater. Soon, it will be your turn to test your leadership and decision-making skills in a crisis General Washington faced during the Revolutionary War. Here's the situation. It is the fall of 1782. We've been at war with the British for over seven years. Peace negotiations are underway after our decisive victory in Yorktown, Virginia the year before. But all is not well among the officers of the Continental Army. Throughout the Revolutionary War, the Continental Army has suffered shortages of food and supplies. Congress has struggled repeatedly to pay them in. Some are owed years of back pay. There's not much General Washington can do other than write letters on behalf of his soldiers. General Lincoln, I will inform you candidly of the discontents which at this moment prevail universally throughout the army. The complaint of evils are the total want of money, the heavy debts they have already incurred, the distress of their families at home, and the prospect of poverty and misery before them. The patience and long sufferance of the army are almost exhausted. There never was so great a spirit of discontent as at this instant. In March of 1783, the Continental Army is camped 60 miles north of New York City, which is still under British occupation. Although peace negotiations are underway, the Army is still needed to defend against potential British attack. But within the officers' ranks, discontent is growing. Some fear that if the war is to end before Congress can settle its debts, they will return home impoverished. Some officers decide to take matters into their own hands. Gentlemen, what's this about? It's an anonymous address to the officers of the Continental Army. Gentlemen, a fellow soldier whose future may be as desperate as yours would beg leave to address you. Have you not more than once suggested your wishes and made known your wants to Congress? How have you been answered? If this be your treatment while you wear the swords necessary for the defense of America, what then can you expect when peace arrives? But if your spirit should revolt at this, to oppose tyranny under whatever garb it may assume, then awake, attend to your situation. situation. In, In any, any political event, event, the army has an alternative. The author proposes that the army threaten to refuse to lay down its weapons in news of peace, or refuse to defend the country from attack. He has called for a meeting tomorrow at 11 o'clock to discuss his proposal. The authors of the anonymous letter have called a meeting without General Washington's approval to discuss threatening the government into repaying the soldiers. You are about to step into the boots of General Washington. As commander in chief of the Continental Army, will you arrest the authors of the anonymous letter for treason? Will you try to convince the officers to ignore the inflammatory letter and continue to remain patient? Or will you use your influence as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army to pressure Congress to act? Just like General Washington, you will have to make your decision under pressure as the situation continues to evolve. You'll be able to seek advice from various advisors who will represent people and sources General Washington would have consulted. But be aware, they will offer contradictory opinions, and you will not have time to hear from everyone. It will be up to you alone to decide how strongly you agree or disagree with their advice and whether they will impact your decision as the commander of the Continental Army. Now is your chance to be Washington. It's your turn to lead. <laughs>